So if there's one thing I do a lot of, it's making keep cups. It's like my bread and butter. I do uh, sometimes up to like 200 keep cups a week. So in this video, we're gonna go from wedging all the way through to the finished glazed keep cup. All right, so there's two things we need, clay, scales, um, to weigh out the keep cups. I generally make a 300 gram keep cup. It's like medium size, fits like a, it's the same size as like a medium-ish to large takeaway coffee, about 280 mils. So that's what we'll focus on. Here's our 300 gram bowls, ready to go. Uh, I generally throw 10 bowls at a time. It seems about right for me. Um, they, as the clay dries, it gets harder to throw. So working with 10, uh, balls at a time is about right. Some potters chuck balls into buckets so they can keep going, but I just like to get up in the wheel, weigh 10, do 10 more. Right, so, got our balls. Always important to start with a nice clean pottery wheel. Let's get started. Alright, so the kick ups that we just made are drying, and now we're going to skip ahead a few steps to a bisque kick up. So, these kick cups have dried, I've stamped the bottom, they've gone in the kiln for a bisque cycle, and now they're ready to be glazed. Um, so, we're skipping a few steps, but essentially, all that would have happened is the piece would have dried, um, then it would have come off the bat, we would have stamped the bottom, chucked it in the bisque kiln to a thousand degrees, and then we're ready to glaze. The first five keep cups we're going to do in a white gloss, um, which is in this bucket here. Uh, it's separated, don't know if you can see that, but the glaze sinks to the bottom um, and the water comes to the top, so we've got to remix the glaze. Um, to do that, we've just got a drill with paint mixer attachment on the end, and I went and found the battery. I've only got a few tips for mixing glaze um, with a paint mixer you attachment. You just want to make sure that um, you have it on a low setting because if you've got it on a fast setting the glaze is going to go everywhere. Mix steady, uh, make sure the bat's down the bottom. If the paint mix is going too fast you'll get this like whirlpool thing happening. Um, so you want to try and avoid getting a whirlpool and pulling the air into the glaze. So just mix nice and slow and you should be good. 